Alright, welcome back into some Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So today we're going to be reviewing a new build that I have. I have added full level 3 dereliction into my Dragon Conversion set. And we're going to do some comparisons, some testing, do a little hunt. See what we think about dereliction in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. We have a lot of tools that bolster our damage heavily in Sunbreak. And with augmenting, we can have access to pretty much every skill except dereliction. Even though I think I got it, I got it once and I didn't want it because I didn't I wasn't really a fan of dereliction at the time but it is, it was a good skill at the end of Monster Hunter Rise and it was used for speed running a lot but from my testing and everything I don't think it's going to be able to push us past where we are and I'll show you what I mean in a second but let's go over the build in the meantime so we got ice attack attack boost 3 crit boost 3 weakness exploit 3 crit element 3 stamina surge 3 dragon resistance 3 that's going to help us add more damage to our element when we switch from dragon conversion because all elemental resistance goes into dragon conversion to elemental damage dereliction cure will drain your health but also bolster your attacks multiple cure will further bolster attacks and let you recover your health when report when performing a switch, a switch skill swap now the only switch skill swap we're going to use be using is to go from blue to red for dragon conversion obviously but as you can see in red scroll we get increased elemental damage so it has great synergy with dragon conversion but there might be a soft cap honestly there might be a soft cap to this and I'm gonna compare some builds that I currently have and show you what I mean by the soft cap uh, we have level 3 Furious, has great synergy with Dragon Conversion. Um, in Risk Scroll, we get uh, all, all resistance. So that goes into our elemental damage. So Furious, Dragon Conversion, those are peanut butter and jelly in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Elemental Exploits helps us increase our elemental damage when we're attacking uh, weak points. So that's. A great skill to have if you're building an elemental build first level three when we continuously land attacks we get an increase to attack and element damage and since we play dual blades we're always constantly attacking continuously dragon conversion the big daddy the 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 main the creme de la creme the alpha and omega of elemental builds i feel Switch the blue scroll, double your element resistance, switch the red scroll, all that element resistance goes into elemental damage. And where we're at now, we can get element damage over 300 at this point. So, but I, I believe it's a soft cap, honestly, <laughs> as I keep reiterating. But you'll, you'll see when we do some testing. Strife level 3 goes great with elemental builds. All you need is a little bit of sliver of red and you get... Uh, bonus element to strife from strife you get bonus element damage so get strife in your builds if you don't have it already resentment that just came with some of the parts we're using get attack 10 when there's a sliver of red so it's basically the strife for raw damage so it's not not bad but kind of underutilized unless you're using the straight up raw builds Latin power level two when active increases affinity by 20% and reduces stamina by depletion by 30%. Great, great for dual blades since when we go in demon mode, 
our stamina drains continuously so this slows it down tremendously so we won't ever have to worry about running out too soon of our stamina recovery up goes great with this build because dereliction continuously drains your health so having recovery up helps you gain more health back sooner more health just in general just so dereliction doesn't kill you in the end crucial blushing level two this is the bolster our ice attack because we have ice weapons on currently blood right blood right increases our health when we attack broken parts so this is kind of just to balance out dereliction so we can stay in the fight and so that you know we don't have to pretty much worry about dereliction too much we can just kind of just do our thing paralysis resistance that just came with augmenting and so the speed sharpening but i was kind of lucky to get that that speed sharpening is nice quality of life skill so go for our equipment as i mentioned before we have ice weapons the crucial door dual weapons dual blades are the best ice weapons to have they have purple sharpness high raw and pretty good high ice attack with a level three rampage slot which we'll need for uh Elm bane rampage jewel that gives us element exploit so more damage it does stack with the element the uh element exploit decoration the regular decoration does stack so that's always nice and we augmented this weapon full element damage as you can see with a little bit of attack everything else required three slots so i wish they i wish they didn't do that i wish they just had everything be two slots since you know full bars 10 so if everything was two you have more variety in what you can do with the augmentation but you know they decided to do what they they did for all weapon augmenting and you know we just got to live with that so we have the valstrex helm valstrex chest piece we have the guys mcgorm arms risen valstrex coil and guys mcgorm legs this is also risen valstrex as well if you weren't uh too sure so augments i decided to do the smart thing and put furious on all the valstrex pieces that way we don't have to keep worrying about looking for furious anywhere else through, through talismans or anything like that and when we activate dragon since since these two skills dragon conversion and furious are like peanut butter and jelly why not just augment the armor to have these skills on them so we so it's always at its best so dragon inversion is always at its best so any any other pieces you use to mix and match you know you don't have to worry about furious you can you know go look for any other skills you want but you have the two main skills together in the armor set in these main pieces so um arch fiend guys we're going armor with element exploit i did that because just one level gives us 10 percent and if i don't have room for element exploit i'll still have it if i can't get it full at least i have one level and that gives me 10 percent so that's better than nothing as far as bolstering our damage and for the feet i got the final level of strife i needed one more level because my talisman gave me two levels of strife so I had to farm for this level and included with this i got speed sharpening and paralysis resistance so lucked out there and i also lucked out here i got furious I had to give up beloved defense but i got furious with the level one slot so that allowed me to get the crucial blessing extra crucial blessing in to get full ice damage so lucked out pretty good there 
are Talisman, you got Strife level 2 with Recovery level 2 and 3 level 2 slots. Very, very good. That lets us put Weakness Exploit or Critical Boost in those level 2 slots. So we'll have one of those skills out the way and we have slots freed up in the rest of the armor pieces. So we looked out pretty pretty good as far as augmentation and getting the right talisman. I've had this talisman for quite a while, but I didn't know what to do with it originally. But, you know, experimenting and brainstorming eventually brought me to sh put Strife into my elemental builds and make them pretty much top tier. So that is the armor breakdown and skill breakdown so let's go do some testing in the training area so i'll show you what i mean as far as dereliction potentially being soft capped in this in this game at this point at this stage in the game so this is my virtue set it's basically the risen shiguro set I've used these pieces, Rizzo's Giro is a very, very good armor set to make an elemental build. As you can see, the skills listed right here. I'll try to be a little slower so you can um, see all the skills that I have for this set. And you see, you know, I have everything laid out, but I don't have dereliction in this set. I have bloodlust instead of dereliction because bloodlust can be managed pretty well and it has great synergy with frenzy bloodlust because we get a wire bug after we beat the bloodlust but the bloodlust helps us proc strife so we'll have a huge attack buff before we beat the bloodlust and get an extra wire bug so pretty good set all around I swapped some things around. I took out uh, defense boost and made it Master's Touch for damage sustainability. So we're gonna do here. We're just gonna we're gonna be better at the game. We're gonna go ahead and proc get dragon uh, conversion proc. Okay, it's finally proc. See him getting like 320s from that last set. Let me see if I can reset it. All right, so Bloodlust is active. So let's see what this thing can do at max damage. See, we got 311s and 317s. Pretty good damage while Bloodlust is active. Get a nice attack buff. And you see, we beat it, we get the extra wire bug and everything. But after it's beaten, damage goes down pretty significantly. It was like probably 30, 30 damage per hit, just about. So, that's a drawback, but since we have, I have Master's Touch in the build, we have we do have sustained attack, so we'll stay at max damage for longer. Now we're gonna go for the dragon conversion set. I said dragon conversion. We're going for the dereliction set now. We're gonna test out the dereliction set. We still have dragon conversion active, so let's see what we get. Let's see, we got three nineteens already. 319s and this will be sustained. Dereliction is continuous. So with dereliction you'll have the sustained damage you'll have the sustained damage just about and as it ticks on as the curio as the curio keep increasing we got two now We'll get more damage out of it. 
see his name. It's 323 now. So we got, what's that? Plus four to our attacks. But as you can see, it's just plus four with, with two birds, two curio birds. It's just plus four. And we were at what? 317 with the bloodless buff. So is it, is it, you know, worth? Is it, is it of worth? We got 328 now. So I think we got a buff from our cat. All right, we got three now. See some 331s, 327s. Pretty nasty damage. It's, it's, it's very nasty damage. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's very good damage. The only problem is with the build, since it's kind of limited to a degree, getting max, you, to stay at max damage, you, you'll have to sacrifice some things to stay at max damage. Now, there's a possibility you could take out burst could take out burst and put in masses touch and then you'll have sustained damage that way uh, that is an option uh, I've considered that option actually and you see with with our health going down further with that big red bar strife is giving us more more element damage there and you see as our element is at 305 at this point so you get a lot of you, it's a lot of damage but it's the sustainability is is questionable as i mentioned you could give up burst i i say burst because burst you can give up burst before element exploit element exploit would give you better element damage versus burst like if you if you lowered element exploit and kept burst, you would actually lose damage. So, but if you kept, I say you have, if you have level three element exploit and level one burst, that would actually do more damage for your build versus level three burst and level one element exploit. But let's uh. Do a hunt real quick and try this bad this bad boy out. Your spirit shines bright. Let's see, what do we have at 300 that's weak to ice? I'm gonna have to switch builds. It's an ogre, I haven't fought as an ogre, but I, I, I honestly don't like fighting as an ogre with dual blades. Let's fight my favorite monster. Already got dragon conversion brought. wasn't good though. This is bad. Mm-hmm. Diablos, you haven't popped yet. What is going on, buddy? As I say it. What? 
Uh, somebody came that I did not act that I asked not to come. Alright, so let's do this. Yes, flamey, flamey. Uh, can I get another one? I can. Alright, so let's do things. Nice. Got the flames. Let's see, can we get something else? Can get one more, right? There we go. Nice. She kind of like took us all the way over here. I'm trying not to fall off the edge. I don't want to spiral slice off the edge and be embarrassed. It's about to scream any second. There you go. Closer. Good job. That was good. Well, that was close. Let's get to him with it. Oh, more help or, or, or something. Oh my. Thank God that missed. Jesus. You can go away, Ian. Ah, Jesus. Thought I was in range. That was cute. This thing has a lot of health. sad thing is that I can't properly hit it. Well, I'm supposed to hit it. <laughs> See how the hits always fluctuate? Oh, you shouldn't have been able to get away from me. Should not have been able to get away. All right, let's go. So, it's a lot of damage. Dereliction gives a ton of damage. Well, not a ton, but it gives extra damage. I kind of lean towards Blood Awakening. Because Blood, Blood Awakening gives a, a, definitely gives a much better bolster of damage. Versus... Versus dereliction at this point, and it's it's great because it has synergy with blood blood right. God damn it! And it makes you have to use blood right. Oh, I try to be clever. Still got it. 
Yeah, make sure you use Blood Right. So you'll have the utility of Blood Right, health recovery, and you'll get a reward for health recovery with a bonus to your damage. So if you can if you can fix if you can fix Blood Awakening versus Dereliction, I will recommend that. And just just go with Bloodless, because you'll be fighting a monster and you'll have to recover health anyway, and you'll get a better a better bolstered buff. You'll get a better buff versus Dereliction and the health drain. Have to manage and the health drain and everything like that. Even though, as you see with Blood Right, it's pretty manageable. So that's just what I recommend moving forward for your ultimate set that you want to take over the top Villager, safe with me. I yes. made the blueprint for you know dragon conversion and my last dual blade set with uh you know just dragon conversion furious and strife but adding bloodlust helps you get the best of strife and if you want to send it over the top i if you can get blood awakening i will go blood awakening in my opinion it's just dereliction helps you sustain the max damage from strife but it's just it's it's kind of like it's it feels non-existent in my opinion it kind of feels non-existent even though you get the sustained damage it's it's it feels like it's just not enough anymore like it's it's not taking the bill to the next level. Like Strife took my Dragon Conversion set to another level as far as damage. Then Bloodlust helped me get the most of Strife. Even even one level of Bloodlust is good just to get the Strife bonus more frequently. On top of, you know, the Bloodlust bonus, everything like that. Um but dereliction is just like it's not doing dereliction things. You know, everybody was getting the, the the speed runs and everything with dereliction and whatnot because I guess it was like in Rise it was a ceiling and dereliction took you past that ceiling. But now you got much better skills to take you past the ceiling, and dereliction is kind of just like a relic. It feels like. But that's that's just my opinion. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to work on a berserk build because I have some ideas to see how that compares to dragon conversion. And I think I can make a good berserk set. I have a lot of good talismans that can be utilized for berserk. So I look forward to that. But that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank you for watching. As always, do the proper thing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune into the next video. And I will see you then. Peace.